I missed the welcome to Tennessee sign as I enter the tail of the dragon. Yeah, I kind of missed a couple of those other things too. <laughs> But yeah, this is the tail so far. It's not too bad. Not much worse than what I was already driving for half the day. <laughs> Definitely these like more tighter turns here are definitely a bit worse. but it's not bad at all. I can see how this would be a very great place to watch some rally races or whatnot. No cell service out here either, at least for me. I always feel like I forget to zip something up or whatever. And this is not the kind of road where you want to be double checking yourself the whole time, you know? Anyway, here we go. spot the scenic overlook yeah it's pretty beautiful there we are <sighs> look at that that's beautiful
the Dragon. 318 turns, 11 miles. And here I am after having just finished it. Getting ready to figure out where to go for my bunk of biker family. Uh, think it's that way, but I'm not sure. So uh, I'll be figuring stuff out. All right, later. All right, here we are in Tennessee. I'm about uh, less than 10 miles away from my bunk of biker and uh, riding these <clears throat> pretty incredible uh, back roads. I mean, they're not trails. <laughs> But I'm, I'm laughing because we're, bare, we're going up these things at like 20 miles an hour and you have those pink trucks up there. There's actually a lot more than what you can probably see right now. Um, and like everyone is just driving kind of slow and steady. And I'm over here like after I finish the dragon, I'm like, this is too easy. Let's go faster. <laughs> I mean, I take into account, I did the dragon and I was going, you know, 30 to 40 pretty much the whole way. There's a couple of spots where you had to slow down, but my bike can handle it and I know that I can lean. Oh, that's a beautiful little area. Yeah, a lot of really nice little campsites and cabins and stuff I keep finding everywhere. So I'm hoping to find some pretty interesting spots on the way to Cooksville tomorrow. I still gotta plan that all out and see how long it's gonna take and whatnot. Anyway, take a look at that uh, mountain hotel or home off in the distance there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Coming up to my bunker biker family now. There we are. Yeah, this is a very beautiful place. I made it. <laughs> Need me to pull it in further? You're good out there. I know you're used to staying out all night, but you can park it in here tonight, and that way you won't have a bunch of do all over this. Day. Yeah, that works for me. Or whatever. I'm Richard. All right, I'll let you get things done. Thank you. I've watched a couple of your videos. I'm like, oh man, he is loaded to the gills. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Goodness gracious. Today was a long day. Really? Where'd you come from from last night? Uh, Liberty, South Carolina. Um, okay. So just to get to the tail of the dragon was about a three to three and a half hour drive, at least. Mm. Almost four. <laughs> wow, wow. I like the purple rims, that's cool. Oh yeah, I love them. You're going to? All 50 states. All 50? Yep. Well, of course, you can get in Alaska, but how are you going to hit Hawaii? I'm hoping I catch a boat, but I'm going to Maine right now. So for this kind of riding season, I'm going to be heading up to Maine. Okay. And then I'll be seeing where I go from there. Depending on time and budget and everything, I might be able to continue around the, the Great Lakes right. before coming back down south. Okay. Well, you have a distinct uh, place with us. <laughs> And guess what that is? What? You're our first bunker biker. Oh wow, thank you. I just joined it up uh, probably a couple months ago. Aloha all. Heading out here. Just leaving my bunker biker home. Great family. If I'm lucky enough to come back here, I will definitely come back here because that was a wonderful family. A lot of info and knowledge. I loved it. So, we shall see what uh, the day has in store for me.
Aloha all. Maggie here with Stitch. We're going through uh, Len Lenore, Lenore City. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Might be able to see the sign a little bit over there. Um, yeah, today's not really doing the scenic route, just kind of getting straight to my destination. My back is really aching. I think it's just my muscles are tired. Uh, but I have been enjoying the ride. It's still not a bad ride. I mean, the roads out here are just really nice. Even there, uh, I mean, I put no highways, but I'm pretty sure I'm on a highway, just not, you know, like the interstate or anything. Um, yeah, it's, it's been pretty fun. You still got some nice rolling hills, as you can see, and uh, some good long curves and just some relaxing, relaxing uh, sights. The uh, wind is definitely rough today. It's making sure that uh, <laughs> it's making sure that I'm going to be exhausted when I get where I'm going. It's now coming up into the almost one o'clock now. I am in central time. And as you can see how kind of terrifying this road is. <laughs> it's almost, well, it is more terrifying than the tail of the dragon. The tail of the dragon I wasn't too worried about. There's a lot of guardrails and it's just, it seems pretty well maintained. This one, however, uh, it's a very good roller coaster road with some tight twisties. Signage is so so. But damn. But yeah, I'm all, only about uh, 16 minutes away, well, 14 minutes now, from my relatives. I don't know if they'll want to be on camera or not. We'll find out. But this has been a blast thus far. And this road, this is a nice road, not gonna lie. There's just so much in Tennessee and in that South Carolina, North Carolina little Smoky Mountain alcove area to do and see. that you just kind of, you're, you're blown away. This leg of the journey down south has been pretty good. From here, I'm gonna be heading back towards North Carolina and then upwards to Virginia, Maryland, Delaware area. We'll see how it goes. Today has actually been a nice day all day in the 70s, pretty much since I started riding. A little bit up and down here, but the wind is rough. 
I am very happy to be I'm very happy to be behind these mountains because trust me uh, that wind is serious. There we go. Made it to the folks. Just uh, unpacking right now. Getting everything off the bike. I am exhausted and tired. I know you would think I haven't. Today was actually a really short ride. I was about three and a half hours, but it was the compilation of all the other rides, especially yesterday, that five hour drive. Yeah, that's, the, those are the days I needed an extra day off in between. <laughs> oh, but yeah, we'll see what I'm gonna be doing from here, figuring all that stuff out. Oh. Enjoy this weather. There we go.